Mimi's back. <laughs> Selk in the podcast. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine. Do you feel better now that we're sitting down? So we're on the same level. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, um, so now we feel things better. Great things come in small packages. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's another video <laughs> later. <laughs> so in this video, I've decided that I want to ask you a couple of questions about American people. Okay, but your people, and I want to know the answers. I want to know the truth. Are you going to give us the truth? Uh, yeah. I have to speak for all the American people, all gazillion of them. There's not many. That's a lot of pressure. Yeah. Do you know what a student said to me the other day? Why do we say to swear, meaning when you tell the truth, and also when you say off? When you say what also? Off. Oh, mm. uh, I don't know. That's not about in America, know. that's about English in general. But yeah, they both mean the same thing. So first question I want to ask you is, why is everybody in America a bloody performer? Once when I was in San Francisco, I ordered at breakfast time, don't judge me, I ordered some Black Forest Gatto. And this guy, in his suit, like a waiter, brought the cake, slice of cake, and then started belting out opera. That's why? <laughs> why, I don't know why <laughs> all Americans are performers. Did you practice that? <laughs> no, I did it because I didn't know what you were she going to ask me. She didn't ask her. Um, mm. You know, let me start off by saying that I get asked all the time questions about why, why Americans this, why are we extra? Extra. extra. Um, why are Americans this, why do Americans do that? Mm. America, in many ways, is because it's so big and there's just so many different people, in many ways it's like saying Europe, right? You just have the difference, obviously there's a lot of differences, I don't know. Um, but in the sense we're that... We're more sophisticated, for example. We're not, for example. It depends, yes. But, uh, mm -hmm. uh, but in the US, there's just so many different kinds of people, there's different places, uh, the culture varies so much, the food varies depending on where you are, region, north, south, all this. Mm. So it's hard to many times answer a question about why Americans do something. So why waiters? Well, let's narrow wait, it down. okay, so let's go back to the performers, people who oh, okay. are wanting to be actors and mm -hmm. singers, I guess. Um, it's not just everybody in America. Who it's wants not to be. everyone. It no. seems to be. But go on. Beca probably because you visit places where they're popular for performing, mm. like California, New York. Not Arkansas. Not Arkansas. Arkansas. <laughs> not Arkansas. No, oh. not Arkansas. Uh -huh. um, I don't know, maybe there's a. Use. budding, um, you know, film industry there. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, so if you go visit this... Hi. Um, <laughs> let us know. Hi, yeah. Arkansas. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, so you're visiting these big cities. This is where the market is for that, for filming and for people mm -hmm. becoming famous, right? So... That's the wrong place at the wrong time, basically. Y yeah. The other part of that, the other part of your question is why are they waiters? Because people who are in the industry, which by the way, I'm totally guessing all of this because I have no interest in becoming an actor or singer, so I don't, I haven't experienced this um, on my own. So or, we don't call Hollywood back then. No. Uh, but working in the service industry, like being a waiter or a bartender, it gives you a lot of flexibility. And I think that people who. Literally, your legs above your head. All day. Mm. I mean, we're on constant <laughs> performance, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so. It allows you to be able to go to auditions and have like strange hours. Ah, and also, and also, so many people who are trying to make it big are not making big bucks. Mm. And so being a waiter or bartender allows you to work a few hours, flex, flexible hours, and make really good money if you're at the right place. In fact, in the podcast, you spoke about this, no? I did. Yeah. I did. That I was did. very Italian construction. Didn't you? <laughs> not, no. Okay, so this question is for, for the time, basically, then. So the reason he sang opera to me at 6 o'clock in the morning while I was eating... In me. case you are some uh, <laughs> agent... <laughs> mm -hmm, for opera. ...looking for an opera singer. And the manager of La Scala. Uh, well, you never know, because especially... Where were you? I was in San Francisco. Okay, so a lot of... Gay people. Gay people. Who are all extravagant. Extravagant. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people who are in the industry, not just who are actors and sort of at the bottom of the industry, but some of the executives and some of the important people that you need to know, what do they do? They go out to eat, right? They discuss business out. So mm -hmm. I guess people use that as an opportunity. I to... mean, I was in a hotel, so maybe he thought I was staying there for work. Maybe, especially with your accent and everything. Yeah. 
Do you know, it's quite funny when you watch an American programme, which is more or less every programme these days, and you hear a British person in it, you really hear a British person. You can hear such a big difference. Yes. It's yes. weird. Also for me, yes. it's quite weird when I watch it and I'm like, oh God, they're British. Wait, do you ever hear like Americans acting with a British accent and you can catch awful. them? It's awful. Mm -hmm. Even actors you don't know, because it's if it's yeah. a famous American actor, you already have that. I can remember mind, because we but... work with actors and stuff, because we specialize with actors. Uh, <laughs> um, maybe for this reason, but yeah, I sometimes when, especially in programs in American programs, when there's an Irish one <laughs> who's not Irish, <laughs> who's never even been to Ireland, doesn't even know how to spell right, Ireland, right? Doesn't even know how to spell it. Doesn't even know where it is <laughs> on a map. And he goes, hurry, 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 like proper Paddy McGuinness. No, is Where he a politician? Where are my lucky charms? <laughs> a little leprechaun. Paddy McGuinness is who? I hope he's not like a really bad person. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Anyway, just as an example, hey, Paddy. everybody called Patrick is Irish. Hmm. Okay, so the and, next and Mac, Mac anything. Mac anything is more Scottish, but it can also be. Just a useless information. Mac is normally Scottish, and O is Irish. Oh, that's right. It means that's the same right. thing. That's right. Yeah. So no, nice. I think. Mm -hmm. I forgot that. Yeah, I forgot the O. I remembered oh, extra. Well. I remembered extra and you forgot. So the next question is, are you ready? No. I have to see if I remember. Glee clubs. Now, I love the program Glee. I think it's fantastic. It's really nice that people run down the corridors singing and hugging each other and kissing and sharing saliva. Do they really exist, Glee clubs? Okay, so let me just say this first of all. I hope so, because we're really nice. First, nice. you once again bring up a show that I have never seen before. Like Bob, just one Last I time it was Bob Burger, Bob's Burger. Uh, Burgers. Um, have you seen it now? No, I have zero interest. And Glee Club is the same. I have zero interest in music. It's not even called Glee Club, it's called Glee. Glee, whatever the show's F really it like is. She's never seen it. I don't know. No, I have zero interest. And I'm sorry, but I find dancing. all the actors on that show really annoying, like obnoxious type. Maybe it's the character. Well, two are dead now, don't be horrible. I know, they have that, isn't that like the JFK mystery thing going mm. on where... One disappeared in a lake. Yeah. No, but in they real found life. Her. No, oh, they no, found, no, they her. found her. Yeah. Ah, okay, dead I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which they is very still, sad. Still, they don't know what the happened. The program's right. fantastic, ignore her. We'll go. I, I will make her watch it. But do these glee clubs exist in schools in America? I think so. Um, Not in yours. Uh, I'll tell you, mm, the schools where I went to, they didn't have a glee club. However, they had musical theater and like singing club and other things that they... But is it different? I don't think so. Mm. I think glee, they're just happier. In fact, it's, it's not... <laughs> singing happy. I tried to imagine me when I was at school, running down the corridor, hugging, skipping with people, singing. Is that what happens on that show? It's a musical. It's not, yeah, it's not, a, nice it's not it a documentary real. about American high school. How schools. disappointing. Why not? And they all love football as well. They're all obsessed with football. American football? Yeah. The one where you wear the helmet looks like rugby. Oh, yes. Because that's the big um, sport. Mm -hmm. The big sport that's played. That wasn't school. one of my questions. Don't use one of my questions for that. Okay. Okay, another question is... We Mancunians, we're very, very friendly. We speak to everybody. Even in the shop, people think we're flirting when we're not. Because you're probably flirting. I'm not. Hi, the he's guy who works at, flirting. At, was it, okay. at every store ever that he's shop ever been to. River Island on the Rock. Hi. Um, anyway, <laughs> stop distracting me. We talk you to everybody. You were saying you're Manchurian something something. I don't know. Man Mancunian. I know. I know. I just wanted to say that to annoy you because that's what I think about when I hear that. It worked. Who says Mancunian outside of Mancunia? <laughs> <laughs> we do. Anyway. We speak to everybody because we're friendly, but in America you take it a bit too far. You even speak to people in the street, when you work for a picnic, when you're in a park. You have a full-on conversation with these random people around you, but why? Okay, so let me reference back your first question and one of the first, thing that I, first things that I said. You're looking for a job. I am not looking for a job. Ah, okay. Uh, however... Cheaper than Tinder Premium. I don't even know what Tinder is. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is true of some places, mm. and by some, I mean some parts of the United States and some Not places Arkansas. where you go, probably as a tourist. Um, if, if you go to a restaurant, for example, or a bar, yes, in the United mm. States, providing excellent customer service is really important. 
um, and people get training on this constantly mm -hmm. if you're at the right place, and so it's really important because because also we have this thing called tipping, yeah, but and so a lot of field. times what in the middle of a field or in the street waiting for a bus. You find out people, you ask people like a million questions. No, we don't. You do. Uh, maybe it's the big city person inside mm -hmm. me, but I am not like that. And uh, in okay. the bigger cities, I feel like people are less like that. They're less likely to talk to strangers and carry on. Um, maybe in like smaller towns, mm. people may be a little bit friendlier to that extent, like you're saying. Yeah, but it's a bit over the top. It's a bit like bugger off. It's um, private. They ask you like proper questions that and none of their business you know, whatsoever. This is what I'm thinking because mm. I don't experience that. Maybe because of your accent. Because I look friendly. No, you don't. <laughs> because of my accent. Maybe because of mm. your accent, mm -hmm. um, people want to talk to you. Mm. Because I, I understand that, yes, Americans are friendly, but I don't feel like we're over the top outside of like a restaurant or a place where customer service mm. is necessary. And like when you go to a park and stuff and then you're, you're sharing each, you're offering each other a beer, random people you don't know. If you're oh, we beer. definitely offer random people beer. Why? For sure. You paid for it, it's yours. Because it's so good, we want to share it with the world. Why? <laughs> That's proper Bob's Burgers. You should watch Bob's Burgers. That kind of thing oh, you just no. did. Uh -huh. Did I do a Bob's Burger thing? You did, you did I don't even Bob's know Burger. what Bob's Burgers is. Uh, okay, so you just like to be friendly then? Yeah, it's just friendly and you know, I, again, we, we like mm. to be friendly. I don't know that we're over the top. Um, however, extra. extra. However, I will say that maybe because I'm so used to a place that's so friendly, well, some places are friendly, um, and like customer service is a big thing, mm. I find then when I travel to other places that customer service, nobody cares about it. Nobody gives a shit. No. Oh. I, Shit, I can say. Oh, you can? Well, I can. I've been holding back this whole time. No, you can I say wanted shit to if you want. drop so many SNF bombs at this point. I don't know if. Yeah, try. Does it get we'll see if we get banned. Maybe we get banned. Yeah. If we get banned, I'll re upload it and just bleep <laughs> out the F and the, and the S. Um, Relax, take it out. Hmm? Say what you want. Oh, okay, good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, like I was saying. Effing and Jeffing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I feel like doing. I was about to say it. Go on. Um, no, so I feel mm. like my friendliness bar slash customer service bar is a little bit higher than mm. the average. And so now when I travel or now living in, can I say Italy, where customer service is not really a thing. It doesn't exist. Uh, it's really Apart hard. In the Apple store it exists because they're trained by Americans. Yeah, well, the, they're they're like, are them. they robots or are they real people that work there? I don't know. The, the drawers like, appear from everywhere. Have you seen? No, drawers know. pop out of tables. It's fantastic. It's very good. No, You've know. never been. You don't need to buy anything. Just don't open the drawer. <laughs> don't rob them. Don't <laughs> take the money and run. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so, so this that, is the reason why you share your beer with everybody in the park. Yeah. No wonder there's so there's much COVID. There's nothing wrong with that. No wonder there's COVID everywhere. Well, we have vaccines everywhere too. So we're also sharing our vaccines with each other at the park. One other thing. Why do American programs begin and after two minutes they stop, they go to advert? Then they start again, and then they repeat the beginning for the people because they think we're all stupid and don't remember what just happened three minutes ago. And that happens after every advert break, after every commercial break, they repeat for the first five minutes what's already happened. So Tammy is 300 kilos. We know, we've seen the program from the beginning. So you watch that show that there's a guy yeah. who's 300 kilos? Yeah, Tammy is a girl, but okay. Oh, I thought you I said Tommy. Tommy. Tommy and Tommy, it's two different people. But okay, yeah, Whatever. a person is 300 kilos. Yeah, this, yeah. Why? I'm learning so much about what you watch on TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but and I don't know if I In Italy, like... unfortunately, most of the TV is American. That's true. <sighs> That's true. Okay, so I'm no TV exec. I don't know why things are done, but all mm. I can do is guess, right? Guess. I can I can give you Take my best guess. Take a wild guess. guess. That's Insult how I, everybody. That's how I Whoa. got through high school. Just best guessing <laughs> my way through. She works for me. That's not You know what they say. You fake character. it till you make it. Okay, you made it now. You and me. Is that what I've done? I've made it. <laughs> I need a hey, ledge. We well, bought a couch just for you so you can be the same height as me. Right. What more I, do you want? I do feel What more special. can you ask for? I do. I do it's a nice special. couch, actually. 150 euro from Ikea. And it's not bad. Also becomes a bed. You slept on it once, though. I did. She slept here. Twice. What was that? 
Oh, anyway, go on. Answer the question. Go on. Um, mm. What was the question? Oh, so Phoebe. this is what I think. Number one, somebody's mm. got to pay the bills, right? Uh huh. Okay, so they have commercials. Ah, okay. I, did, I didn't understand. Commercials. Not if you're in Italy, spots. <laughs> <laughs> you got a spot. No. Could you imagine? Look at that. Anyway, <laughs> almost as bad as the fact that we just found out that the fur on Brie is actually mould. I will but never like eat Brie again. But like in leather form. No, never Fuzzy again. Fuzzy leather. Never again. Thanks, Janney, for just destroying my <laughs> life. Thanks. That's why oh. you don't eat that. You cut around it. Mm, I won't even cut around it anymore. I won't even buy it. Go on. Oh, so people have to earn money. They have to earn money, so that's how you do it when you have programming okay. on TV. Well, every two access. seconds. Okay, so yes. Is, is the is the is the we need you snacks. Have a short term memory. We need snacks. But Many just started. Snacks. It's just started. We need sna a snack break. Get your We're snacks American. before it starts. No, we need the snacks fresh throughout the, the whole popcorn. experience. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, also, I'll mm -hmm. tell you. I don't know if that's more annoying where we have short. Uh, commercial breaks but often mm. or is it more annoying like they do here where you don't have that many commercial breaks however they when they do they last forever mm -hmm. I forget what I'm watching now they have something called a super spot which is 30 seconds but what they do is no but they do collectively the spot, ah, no, at the very then end. you have like seven minutes of commercials no, by no. that time I'm distracted watching something else no, no you've forgotten uh, what doing you were watching something else yes mm -hmm. uh, so I don't know what's more annoying between those two situations. They're both annoying probably. They're both annoying. Mm. Um, and then as far as it re sort of revisiting what was already shown at the beginning or mm -hmm. whatever. Revising um, everything continuously. I, it's I, like I, Americans are all fish. The memory is two minutes. Where am I? Exactly. What is this? And somebody told me fish have two, two second memories, not two minutes. It's as if the, the continuously need to be re reminded. Um, I don't know if then what you're watching here is really exactly as it's shown in the US. No, no, no. I I'm wondering from when I lived in America. Okay. I don't, uh, I don't know that I remember that they re-show you everything. However, I can explain it, I guess, by saying that they're trying to, the new viewers that are coming on, maybe they're just trying to catch them up with what, the, what they missed. Right, I'm or, repeating the whole show. That's an exaggeration. <laughs> Another thing, now just, who's over the just top. something which is not actually your problem or an American person's None of problem. These are my problem. Can somebody please explain to me why on Netflix the preview is basically the whole damn series? Have you noticed? Last night I wanted to see something. I watched the whole film. Like, all right, I don't need to see it now. Right. That they show you all the highlights, all the well, important the parts, point? and then you don't need to watch. Married, it. babies, affair, killed, married again, more babies, happy ever after. Fine, done. Why do I need to watch it now? Yeah. And last question, which really gets on my wick. It's a polite way of saying it. Okay, gotten. Explain yourself. Okay, well, like as in forgotten? No, no, no. As in get got gotten. Okay, well, I, in England, I don't know what's... In Britain is get got got. Okay, so what, what, okay, so that's with the word get, right? Mm. What about fall? Do you say fall, 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 fell, fall? <laughs> I have fall many times. No. Oh, you don't. So I don't understand why would you why say gotten? gotten? If in English we say get got got, you're confusing me now. <laughs> if you say get got got, why change it to gotten? Why not? Uh, why? Why not? Because we invented okay, the language. Okay, so let me just tell you this because this, me personally, this but, gets brought up a mm, lot during my lessons. Also, mine. With people asking which is correct and how come I heard someone say this and mm, that. I tell them just to ask you. And this is what I tell them. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> there's Exclusive. two versions. We understand there's uh, two versions, right? Uh -huh. The British version. The right version, version and the wrong and the version. American version. <laughs> Uh, Actually, in America, we use both. Oh, really? But oh, we use good. it differently. So the intelligent people use get go. No, no, it's not even like that. Oh, no. It's not even that. It's it depends uh, on context, I guess, what you're saying when you use one or the other. So, for example, mm. um, I have got a fantastic American English teacher. Have got. You Who's could, he talking about? You could also say, for example, 
My old British teacher was terrible. So now, there was no gold. I've gotten a new English teacher. Ah, I thought you were calling I'm me old. To make this up. I thought you were calling me old. I just oh, realized. Oh, I wasn't. Like, you meant you meant the old one before me. Oh, how nice! She's sweet sometimes. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Just because of that, she's forgiven. Okay. Um, so mm. that's part of the explanation is that it depends. I personally, I use both. Mm. So one of the first times where someone asked me why would you use one or the other was hard for me to explain that because I do use both versions. I use got, have got, and I've all, I also use have gotten. It just depends on what I mean. So if it's something that is final, I guess I want to say, I would say have got. I'd make it more concrete. Yeah. Mm. If it's something that is maybe there's more to the conversation i may say i've gotten okay okay um so that's the that's mm. that the other thing with this word because i've done extensive research on it because so many people ask me about it um throughout the centuries the proper use has changed so at mm. one point in the 1500s it was gotten, Where I'm from. gotten ah, before in the past. Gotten, ah. yes, mm -hmm. and then it was considered vulgar. And throughout the centuries, it's kind of switched back and forth between what's considered vulgar and what's considered educated proper mm. English. Okay, so we've sorted the five questions out. Thank you very much for answering very correctly and factually <laughs> every question I asked you. Thank so, you. so you make it. Glee clubs don't exist. Oh, I don't know. Do they? <laughs> Call in and let us know. <laughs> you know. Call in. Call the number. Call the number and let us know. Okay. Thanks. Bye.